Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome to Valheim, a new game for the channel. I've been playing this a little, little bit recently, um, solo and with my uh, fiance Slender. And uh, I thought we'd bring this to the channel, uh, just to do a, a solo play. But um, it seems like a pretty fun game, uh, and I want to uh, kind of experience that uh, adventure with you guys. So Valheim, it is a uh, survival uh, open world crafting game set in a Viking... Uh, inspired uh, world and uh, you know what we're just gonna jump right in and uh, I'm sure some of you have already seen some gameplay of this uh, it seems to be pretty popular right now I do have a character already created um, under my Gnomus moniker but I think we're gonna start a new one uh, for this for the channel and I think we're gonna just call him Eric it's a nice Viking name and let's quickly go ahead and set this guy up uh, let's play with the hair options here. And maybe give him a beard. Or it's a good Viking haircut. Let's go. You know what? I kind of liked the one with the braids there. Let's go with that and that beard. No, I like the long one there. Okay, cool. And let's play with his hair color make him a bit blonder all right cool there's Eric uh, simple character creation uh, this game is in early access uh, we'll see if they add different options down the road but there we go there's Eric our protagonist for our little adventure in Valheim let's go ahead and start things up Long ago, the Allfather Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the Tenth World, then split the boughs that held their prison to the World Tree and left it to drift and anchored a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of sight of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scour the battlefields for the greatest of the warriors, dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. And so enters Eric on the wings of a Valkyrie. Would that be what this is? A large bird of prey. Coming in on a stormy night. About to be dropped into the world of Valheim. See some forest down below there. Can't really get a good look at our guy here, but that is Eric. Diving in for our landing. So I have played uh, a fair bit. I think I put in 20 or 30 hours um, over the last uh, week in Valheim. So I've got a, a general idea and grasp of uh, where to go and how to play the game. So hopefully the uh, start of this won't be too too boring we'll try and keep things interesting here so let's go ahead and we're going to talk to Hugen which is our guide in this new world welcome to the 10th world warrior I am Hugen sent here to guide you in your travels the megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones they represent the forsaken which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla so there are some uh, megaliths here with uh, some uh, inscriptions. These are the bosses that we are going to have to fight here in Valheim. And uh, pretty much with each boss you, you fight, uh, you can kind of progress to the next stage of the game. Let's see what else Hugin has to say here. Uh, these magical stones uh, were scattered throughout the lands of Odin, as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekather, your first prey. He is a mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Okay, and let's take a look here. So, there we are. There was our flight path coming in to Valheim, our spawn point. There's our first boss, so that's where we're going to be working towards. Let's uh, close that. Okay, very good. Off you go, Hugin. So we're going to want to start collecting, just as we would in most survival games, some wood and stone. 
And as we pick those up, we're getting some recipes unlocked. Got some resin there as well. That uh, first creature that we were fighting was a grayling. And uh, they do drop resin when you kill them. Okay, so I don't see anything else right around spawn. Another stone. Got some raspberries. Being a survival game, we will have to eat, although you don't die or starve if you don't eat. Um, we have a a food and health bar down here, bottom left. I've tried to make the UI as large as possible, so hopefully you guys can see that. There's our health bar, there's our food bar, and we've got three slots here that you can barely see. If we eat something, we uh, put one food slot there, we can have up to three different types of food, and each type of food uh, will give us a certain amount of health. So. These raspberries, very basic, gives us 10 health, uh, 20 stamina, lasts for 600 seconds, and we get 1 HP per tick. So, there we go, our health is slowly increasing there. And if we also go um, into our tab menu here, we've got our inventory top left, we've got a crafting menu over here, we've also got our compendium, our skills, our trophies, and if you are playing with other players, you can turn PvP on and off here. Right now, though, we're going to look at crafting. So, uh, picking up that wood and stone, we've got a few items unlocked here. A torch, which takes wood and resin. Stone axe, a club, and a hammer. I think we're going to want to get a, uh, a club and a stone axe first. So, five wood, four stone, and six wood. So, eleven wood total. Uh, and we got two. So, let's... Continue exploring around. Oh, we got Hugan back to tell us a bit more. Hail, warrior. A tasty morsel. You have found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you will grow hungry again, so try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Well, right now we've just found raspberries, but there are several other types of food around, and Hugan's got even more tips for us. Take stock of your inventory. Most items can be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just pick things up and it will all come back to you, I'm sure. My lesser brother, Moonin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood and stone. So we're gonna beat up another Grayling here. The more we perform tasks, the more that we will level up those skills. If we jump over back into our skills, you can see that uh, we've already started to level up our un unarmed skill. Now these aren't all the skills that we've got, but these are the uh, the ones that they're starting us off with. So, since we've got raspberries over here, I'm just going to pick those up. And... I see another piece of wood here. We'll grab that. So this is only one wood at a time. Uh, we can try and punch down these little trees, these little saplings. It's about the only thing that we are able to actually do damage to. That'll give us a bit more wood. If we try to punch these large beast trees, nothing happened there. So I just want to get a bit more wood here. I see some more raspberries up there. We've got the coastline up there as well. Top right, you can see the mini-map. So we are currently... Well, can't actually see there, but we are currently in the meadows. There are different regions of the map. We're currently in the meadows. The most peaceful region. Okay. Uh, no stones there. Let's go check out the coastline. we got a... Uh, a a boar, a pig. And what do we have? We have seven. We can actually craft ourselves a club. Okay. Let's just move that over to our hot bar. And we might as well hunt these pigs, get some uh, food and some scraps of leather, which will unlock some more recipes for us. Once you kill something, they, they kind of explode into resources. There you go. So 
no meat, but we did pick up uh, some leather scraps. We're currently wearing a rag tunic. Very basic armor. Uh, we can only eat one type of food, or one thing of raspberries, so we'd have to find some other food to increase our health further. On the coastline here, we've also got flint. We need that for crafting later on. Uh, now that we got this club, though, we can probably knock down these saplings a bit faster. And that is not a sapling, no miss. Come on, Eric. So you can see they're doing a lot more damage to these saplings. Let's just knock down another one. We should have enough now to make a stone axe. Nope, we need two more. Okay, we got some resin from that guy. Okay. Is that enough now? Yes, it is. Okay, let's craft ourselves a stone axe. Perfect. Okay, so. We're going to continue gathering some wood here. We can now chop down these fallen logs in some of these trees. This birch tree beside us, we won't be able to chop down. It need a, uh, a better axe. It's too hard for our simple stone axe. So I think our goal for this first episode... I mean, it'd be nice if we could get to uh, the first boss today. But I think we're going to want to... Uh, get a home set up somewhere. And a spawn point. A bed. Let's chop down our first tree. Uh, the tree chopping is, um, I don't know, it's, I guess, kind of standard for a survival game, but, um, there is damage from, or you can take damage from these trees if they fall on top of you. So you kind of have to be careful about that. And, uh, trees can cause other damage to other trees when they're falling and cause a chain reaction, which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm just going to chop out this stump. We just increased our wood chopping ability. We'll get a fair amount of wood from this once it's done. You can see bottom left our raspberry now blinking. We've almost gone through the 600 seconds of this as that tree trunk rolls away. There's a good chunk of wood. <laughs> Where are you going to? So as, yeah, m the more we do different activities, the more we're leveling up. So we leveled up our sprinting there. We're slowly leveling up our axe and chopping wood. Okay, so we have enough now to make a hammer. We will use this to actually build buildings. There we go. Campfire, cooking station, stone pile, workbench. Let's go talk to Hoogan. You have crafted a hammer. With this tool, you'll raise a mighty halls, towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, in turn, will enable you to construct other things. Okay, so. There's usually, like, some abandoned buildings around here, and I think I see one up there. And actually, it looks like we got some more pigs. And I used all my uh, energy getting up there. And we are pretty low on health right now. Let's eat another raspberry. Oh my god, there's a lot of pigs over here. Okay, I thought we got meat from these guys too, but doesn't look like it. We'll have to work our way towards hunting some deer. For now, we'll be eating berries. Okay, so we have a little bit of a, a rundown shack here. Uh, we could probably convert this into something for tonight. Uh, so let's get out our hammer. 
And uh, right click to open up our crafting menu. We're gonna make ourselves a workbench. Um, you know what, let's put it this way. Put it back in the corner there. All right, a bunch of new recipes unlocked for us. So some weapons, some tools, crude bow there. Shield, flint spear, chopping block. And then our building pieces. Let's go ahead and just uh, get rid of that while all these recipes unlock. Talk to Hoogan again. Workbench allows you to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots of building pieces to construct with the hammer. Okay, lots and lots of things are unlocking here. So, what I want to do is go over to our furniture here, build ourselves a bed so we can set a spawn point. Okay. And I can still access the workbench there. This is a very tiny shack. Uh, let's just fix things up here. Alright, what else you gotta say here? Uh, a headrest for the weary. Sleep the night away in your bed and awaken feeling ro uh, refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement to your home would be some chests where you can store items. It's a good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while exploring. Sounds good. I'll we'll just quickly repair all this stuff and we'll patch up the roof. Eventually we will make our own home. But just for the sake of getting something for tonight let's put that roof piece on there and that there okay good and we'll need a door okay so let's get a small door here okay cool there's our little uh, home. Let's set our spawn point. Take a look at the crafting bench. So here's all the other stuff we can start crafting. I think we do want to get a bow. So we're going to need eight scraps. We've got three right now. So we want that. Um, I also want a chest to store some stuff. So let's toss that in the corner. Okay. And uh, let's put a torch in here. Light things up. And maybe put a torch outside. In case I need to uh, find this in the dark. Oh, I need more wood again. Okay. Let's go chop down another tree. And we'll go hunt some more of those boar. Oh, we actually... No, that's a rock. Never mind, not a boar. And we got more raspberries, so let's pick those. Yeah, we'll go for a whole tree. So it does have a day-night cycle. Um, there is temperature as well. It will get cooler at night. Uh, the colder your character is, the slower their stamina will regenerate. Um, haven't mentioned it yet, but the... Uh, Stay out of the way of that. The yellow bar underneath Eric. That's his stamina bar. Come on. There we go. There you go. And there's the uh, the chain reaction. <laughs> so, yeah, be careful not to get uh, killed by a falling tree. Alright, well this will provide us with enough wood for a while. Be able to craft a few things and our axe is already broken. Luckily we can just go back into our crafting bench here and repair everything that we have. I don't think it takes any materials to repair stuff. I'm sure they'll add 
a uh, re um, material requirement for repairing down the road, though. Game hasn't been out for very long yet. On early access. So, our um, our boss location is actually very close uh, to where we're setting up here. So this is this should work out nicely. Uh, we got some feathers, some beach seeds, feathers we can use for uh, some more advanced arrows. We can make basic arrows with just wood. Let's chop this one down and then we'll worry about this next tree later. That'll be enough for now. Yeah, let's get this log too. Okay, so it's starting to get darker. There is the sky. It becomes quite impressive at night. But there is a huge tree spanning across the whole world, it looks like. You know what? Let's uh, patch up this roof here. And I am also going to need a campfire keep us warm at night. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just put that here. Okay, and we can also put a cooking station over top. I think you can, I've fit up to three on here before. But if we can do two for right now. So once we get some meat, we can put it on there to cook. Um, I actually want to put a torch out here, too. So it's easier for us to see our little base at night if we're out and about. Okay, so let's drop a few things off here. Keep the uh, food on us. Actually, I could probably put our food up here in our hot bar. Okay. And yeah, let's just sleep till morning, then we'll go hunt some boar. Good morning. Um, is there anything else I want to make right now? Not really. We can also upgrade things uh, too. Let's get out of there. Okay, well, let's go find some boar. There are several over here, and it looks like there's something I didn't pick up. Oh, there is some meat, okay. So they do drop meat. I think we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And each one drops one leather scrap. Unless you see a little star above. The boar. Okay. What are we up to? We've got three. Uh, when you see that little dot with the, um, you know, that little symbol above them that we saw, it means that they haven't noticed us. We can do some extra damage. Proving sneak. Or does that mean that they're alerted? No, I, th I think it means that they haven't noticed us yet. Okay, this guy's got a star on him, so he's a bit tougher. But he will drop more material for us. So, let's see. One meat. Oh, no, two meat. One leather scrap. All right, so we got seven right now. I think we need a ten, right? And I got one in our chest. 
Let's see if we can find one more. Um, I should also mark. Oh, there's another scrap. I should also mark mark on our map where our house is. As it gets very foggy out. Alright, so let's quickly mark this. Actually, it's got our bed on there already, but... Let's throw that there as well. Okay, and let's cook up the meat that we picked up. We'll see if we have enough scraps now to make a bow. So take a few seconds to cook. But then we'll have our second food source. We'll be able to increase our health even higher than 30, which it's slowly getting up to right now. Okay. Heard a snarl out there. Oh, is that another boar? It is. Okay, well, while that's cooking, let's put that up in our hot bar. Eat some meat, and there we go. We're getting a big boost to our health. So the meat gives us 40. Berry gives us 10. All right, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Let's look at this other boar. Where was he? Right there. Okay, now we should have enough for sure. Okay, workbench. Um, all right, so we got the nine here. I got oh, I got more than enough here. Okay, so let's craft ourselves a crude bow. Okay, cool, and let's get us some arrows. Make a full stack of a hundred, if we have enough. Oh, not quite. We have eighty. Okay, switch those around. Um, I think. Can I upgrade my club? I need bones for that. And I need some deer hide to upgrade our bow. And I need a f another scrap to upgrade our tunic. Okay. Let's drop that off. But at least we have a bow now. And we can do some hunting of some deer. So I think before we take on the, uh, the boss, the first boss, we're going to want to upgrade a couple of our pieces of equipment. So I see some deer down here. Get us some meat and some hides. All right, I can get that third one. All right, more recipes unlocked. All right, how many deer have we got? Three, and we got a, a deer trophy. I think we need two of those to actually activate the boss. And that sound that you hear, that's the deer. So, let's try and get this guy. Let him calm down. If we see more pigs, we'll get him too, because I need that leather. Or the, not that leather, but the uh, scraps. Pig. All right, here's more over here. The other ones gonna be running for a while. Four. 
thought I heard more deer over here. Oh yeah, there he is. Nope, oh, missed him. Here we go. Okay, and can we get one more? More raspberry. I think I heard one over this way. Be nice if the uh, fog cleared up. Seeing anything, not hearing anything. Oh, what do we got up here? Oh, there's another house up there. Check that out. Sometimes they'll have chests. Let's see if this one and does have a chest. Our torch, some flint. Oh, come on. Where are the deers? It's very hard to see with all this fog. Finding more raspberry, though. see. I could use another bite. Alright, let's uh... have a raspberry and he sounds very close. There he is. Oh, it's a two or a one star. So that should give us a bit more. Alright, cool. Let's um... That might be enough. Let's head back. Back towards our home. Uh, yeah, just straight through the woods here. Keep our eye out for anything else along the way. We could chop down a couple more trees, I suppose. Maybe just some of these small ones. gonna mark this spot here as a raspberry bush spawn oh, let's call them Arby's okay we'll take uh, several days to grow back but oh a little too sh too low So eventually, once we level up to the, uh, 
um, to better weapons, we'll be able to get swords and spears and that kind of thing. Uh, I guess we're going this way. So we'll see if we can get that far today. I think as long as we can level up a couple things here, we'll be able to head over to that first boss. Okay, and let's just cook up a couple things here. So we got a bunch of raw meat, and we did get a couple more deer trophies, so... I think we've got everything we need. Just top up our food supplies. Oh, that sounds like that's close. Alright, we'll do that for now. Let's put the rest in there. Let's grab that. And... Okay, so we can make a flint knife, uh, we can upgrade, oh, we need a level 2 workbench to upgrade stuff, okay, so, let's get out our hammer, and if we go to our crafting, you can see we got a couple items here with the little star, so these will be used to level up our crafting bench. And we are going to need... We can do the chopping block. We're going to need more flint, though, so... Let's go down to the water and grab some more flint. Forgot about that. Get some pigs along the way. And I think we should be able to find some flint down here. Oh, another deer there. Flint will usually spawn by the water. And I actually hear uh, another mob here. It's the necktail. Uh, these will provide us with another source of meat. That could be our third source of food. So, yeah, there's some flint. So we need 10 to level up our bench. So let's just go along the coastline here. Our neck out in the water. Some fish. Oh, don't have my club. Yes, yeah, so these guys will give us, uh, or they usually will give us, some tails. Right now we just have a neck trophy. Haven't actually gotten any meat from them. So we're looking out for flint, which are these long silver pieces of stone. So let's see if we can find a bunch of these. And yeah, you can swim. Swimming is also one of the uh, skills. There you go, level one swimming. And there are other islands out there for us to get to eventually. All right, what are we up to now? We got 12. All right, let's try and get 20. And then we'll have enough for this upgrade and then a few crafting items as well. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm not getting any meat from these necktails. Try shooting one with an arrow next time. Let's 
keeping our eyes glued to the ground. Alright, let's... Trying to get one of these. Will he drop some meat? Yeah, there we go. Necktail. Could be a coincidence we just didn't get any tails from the first few. But there we go. Quite a tasty snack if cooked. To 19. Okay, one more. Alright, there we go. Now we're getting some tails. Alright, so let's get a few of these. And I see some more animals over here. Let's keep picking up the flint. Might as well get all this stuff. Man, there's a lot of animals. Alright, we're getting at the end of another day. And I see another house up there too. Jesus, a lot of these. Eat some more food there. Let's get these two pigs. Arcturus is uh, <laughs> quite excited that we're hunting. All right, we got a rune stone here. Let's read that. This land is hard and wild, but uh, we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you, the good wood and stone, the fruits and the flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and the hand of man, but they can be taught to obey it. Hmm. Can you, can you train boars? Go quietly to them and let them eat of your stock. Roots of the ground are their pleasure. What? I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's okay, Arcturus. We're just hunting for some food. Okay, well, we are definitely going to try and tame some boar. Yeah, I think Slender just left the room, so... Arcturus is a little anxious. Um, hold on, let's go check out this building up here. And we'll slowly make our way back to our house. Not bad, though. 10 hides, 16 scraps, 4 necktails, 4 more raw meats. Get out our torch. Oh, and what is Hugan got to say? Be wary of weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina and regeneration. Seeking shelter by an open flame is your best option when this happens. Okay, well, we're going to head home. Uh, which is just through here. Pretty cool. Yeah, just on the other side of this ridge, we should be able to see our house. Uh, where is it? Oh, just up there, I see the flames. And we got something on the ground here. Some more meat. 
pick up a few more of these. I'll put that away. Yeah, I think this, the sky looks very cool. At night. See, we've got enough to craft here. Uh, I'll probably need more wood. Oh yeah, right. Uh, we need to do this one. Yeah, we need more wood. Okay, so we'll get that in the morning. Okay. Get a little bit more wood. We did have that one tree over here, didn't we? And we didn't finish chopping down? Where was that? Yeah, this one here. So let's get this. Cutting increased. Could use another bite of raspberry. Okay, cool. Twenty eight. That should be enough now. So we'll make this wood chopping block. And we'll put that yeah, just outside here. Get this guy. Some more sap or resin. Okay. Now we should be good to go. Uh, new crafting uh, station, level two. Leather helmet, flint arrowhead. So we could upgrade our current gear, or we could try going straight to leather. Let's upgrade our bow. Okay. And we got nine left. I mean, all I have right now is tunic, so we could make leather pants. And then just upgrade our tunic. Let's do that. Okay, let's wear that. And upgrade anything else? Our stone axe, might as well upgrade that. And our hammer. And we can make a flint spear. That's almost the rest of ours. Um, hold on here. I have one feather. I don't think that's enough to... I think I need two to make the arrows. Yeah, I need two. Are there any birds around? Hmm. Not that I can see. Okay. We're going to try and do this with... Uh, just basic wood arrows. Okay, let's craft another batch of arrows. Okay. Let's get... Actually, you know what? 
Let's just do a flint axe instead of our stone one. And let's level that up. Okay. Cool. Uh, flint axe. We'll trade that out. Let's make another chest here. that stuff off and I think we're good to head out here just repair stuff okay let's see if we can't take this one on uh, we're going this way oh um, no I should actually get our third piece of food so let's cook these up Necktails. Get our health up a bit more. So our armor rating is only four right now. We'll see if that's going to be enough. Survive this encounter. Let's go eat that and top up this. That. Okay, so now our health is increasing even higher. Let's go to our first boss. See it just up here. Okay. Hugan's got to say, calling forth the beast. You have found the summoning place of one of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at the altar and they will come. Be wary though the Forsaken are not easy prey. So craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armor, and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Okay, so. I think that's the sacrifice we need for this one. Thank you, Hugan. Let's just wait for our health to, uh, Regenerate. We hunt that boar. Okay, let's give this a shot. First boss. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Stay out of his way. I think our health is high enough. Just a matter of me actually hitting some shots here. Let my health regen or my stamina regen. Oh god. Yeah, the flint arrows were probably have been a better idea for this. And just keep 
ahead of him. Ah, oh, man. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Use the trees. Oh, Jesus. Stop and do your attack thing. And his health is not going down very fast. Ah, oh, I'm running out of energy. This wood. Oh god. Alright, he's, he's halfway. Oh man, my aim is not up to par here. Chipping them away. Yeah, health wise, we're doing fine. Oh, crap. Alright, I don't need you guys right now. Some gray dwarves. Are just chasing me. Not making it easy. Well, we are leveling up our our bow a bit, which is good. Okay, he's almost there, guys. We're we're in the final final section here. Great, and I got a boar after me. Alright, does that thing do damage to these guys too? Oh my god. Oh shit. Alright, regen and <laughs> stamina. Get all this stuff. I'm gonna have to eat some more food here soon. Oh, you're so close, man. Okay, that's a uh, chomp, chomp. He's so close. This is taking so long. Everyone's pissed off at me. Alright, regen. Oh, last one. Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh my god. We did it. All right, let's get our rewards. Let's clean these guys up. So these 
stray dwarves are kind of like the next level up from the Greeling. Jesus. Okay, we did it. And we got our Ekther trophy. We'll take that back to the sacrificial stones and some hard antlers, which I believe has unlocked some more recipes for us. Congratulations, warrior. Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon. Upon you. Okay. Uh, let's head back to spawn. All right, I'll cut back once we've placed our sacrifice down. Okay, here we are. And there are some deer here as well, so we might as well try and get a couple of these. Or just one. Okay, so let's find our stone for this first one right here. We'll hook our trophy up on there. And we'll activate a, uh, a new power up for our Eric. Your ability to run and jump is improved. Jump stamina usage minus 60%, run stamina usage minus 60%. Let's go ahead and activate this. Okay, so now, bottom left, we have the Ekather power ready to use whenever we want. There's a 20 minute cooldown timer on this, and I think it'll last for five minutes. So we're gonna finish things off by seeing what Hugen has got to say. Been granted the power of Ekather, use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore lands, and uncover the lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. So there we go, guys. And that is our introduction to Valheim. I think we did pretty good for our first episode. Got the first boss out of the way. We'll be able to look into some new crafting recipes in the next episode. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Valheim and other content here on the Nomis Place channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.